All right, this is fifth grade, module six, lesson two. And in this lesson, students are going to be actually construct, constructing a typical coordinate system on a plane. Essentially, with the, they're learning the official algorithm for how to plot points in one quadrant. Now, the idea of this lesson is we're not going to do some silly mnemonic where we teach students, oh, you got to walk before you run, and then you that's how you move over and then up. Really what we're doing is we're really going to be thinking about a coordinate, uh, an ordered pair is really identifying where on the x-axis the point is and where on the y-axis it is, and then those two lines are going to come crashing and meeting, and that's going to identify where the point is. So we're not using a mnemonic. We're just saying the ordered pair is telling us where on the x uh, x axis, and where on the y axis it is, and where they meet. So let's get started. So we've got this coordinate plane with a whole bunch of little figures, and we need to name the shape that is located at each of these locations. So um, so you've got 2 on the x-coordinate and y on the 4 uh, on the uh, 4 on the y-coordinate. So 2 on the x, 4 on the y. So here's our x and here's 2. All right. And now we're going to go up 2 and then we want I mean we're going to go to the 2 and then we want to find 4 on the y-coordinate and so there's 4 and then here's 2 and we want these two points to go, and then boom, boom, boom. And you can see they're crashing in at the circle. And so the answer is circle. Sir, well, it would help if I spelled it right. Circle. All right. Oh, let's take a look at, oh, 5, 1. So 5 on the x coordinate, that's way over here. And then we need 1 on the y-coordinate, that's right here, and those two crash right here at the heart. And so that last one down here is heart. Now we can answer some additional questions here, but really the idea is for students to recognize that this coordinate, uh, the way we locate these things, uh, is, oh, let's, in fact, let's do the circle right here. So where is that circle? Well, that circle is located at the 2 on the x-coordinate, and it's located at the 4 on the y-coordinates. Now, a little sneak preview in the future, we're going to record that like this, 2, comma, 4. So that 2 is saying that circle is located at the 2 on the x-coordinate and the 4 on the y and that's what that 4 means. In fact, here is where we are going to be using that classic parentheses system for the identifying the ordered pair. So, the moon. Where is the moon? Well, there's the moon, and we need to figure out, well, where is the x-coordinate and where is the y-coordinate of the moon? So here's the moon, and the x-coordinate looks to be right here, which is at two and a half. So we're going to record that, two and a half. And now where is the y-coordinate of that moon? So here's the y-axis, and the moon is located at four, right here. And so you can see that the moon is located at two and a half and four, right there. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, let's take a look at the, uh, oh, the cloud is pretty tricky. So let's do the cloud. So where is the x-coordinate of the cloud? Well, the x-coordinate is zero. And what is the y-coordinate of the cloud? And we can see that the y-coordinate of the cloud looks to be about four and a half. So that's where the cloud is. Now, if we wanted to, we would write it like this, 0, 4, and a half, meaning it's 0 on the x-axis, It's and the y-coordinate is 4 and a half. Similarly, if we wanted to do that for the moon, we would say the moon is located at 2 and a half, comma, 4, meaning the moon is located at two and a half on the x-coordinate 
and it's located at 4 on the y coordinate, and so it's located at 2.5 comma 4. And that wraps up kind of a fun one. Fifth grade, module six, lesson two. We're beginning to learn how to locate points on a coordinate plane. Um, essentially, we're learning that that ordered pair tells you that the two is where it is on the x coordinate, coordinate, and the three is telling you the y coordinate.